Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining all of us for our press conference regarding the directive that went out by Secretary of State Houston. The main premise of this is that Ohio's leaders should be working to make it easier, not harder to vote. These hours will make it harder for working Ohioans to vote early. These hours unnecessarily prevent local elections officials from meeting the needs of their voters. Not only was this directive again issued contrary to Ohio law, but it will unnecessarily limit early voting and make it harder for Ohioans to vote this fall. Hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for weekdays during four weeks leading up to the election and only two Saturdays of early voting from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. No Sundays and no evenings. This means that working Ohioans won't be able to utilize early in-person in -person voting. At a time when over 400,000 plus Ohioans are unemployed and many middle class folks are stringing together two and three jobs just to make ends meet, this just does not make sense. We should be making it easier for people to vote, not harder, and it is a shame that it has become harder and harder and harder to cast a vote in the state of Ohio. We should make it convenient for voters to cast a ballot. Elections aren't designed to find ways to place hurdles and roadblocks up for voters to discern how high they can jump or how fast they can run. It should be to let the people vote. And unfortunately, we are going backwards in the state of Ohio with regards to voting rights and not forward. Ohio's elections officials have a tough job, no doubt about that, of ensuring that all Ohio voters have quality opportunities to cast a ballot. But uniformity for government does not produce uniform results for voters. Ohio's largest county has 95 times the population as its smallest county. To get all of these folks through the same through through in the same amount of time means that you need different sets of tools in different locations. Ohio may look small on a map, but we are as diverse as it gets. Local elections officials should be made, should be able to make room and maneuver based on the needs of their county's voters. State policymakers should not be dictating the terms. We should be empowering local elected or local officials to craft the best system they can within certain standards. And every election is important. From the race for president to school board, every election is equally important. More and less voting opportunities for different elections sends the wrong message and it confuses voters. So I know that there is a lot when people talk about whether or not the presidential election compared to a, a state election year. But in 2010, for example, the last gubernatorial election year, Hamilton County Board of Election was open every Saturday and for four hours on each of the two Sundays. For the last two weeks, they were open until 8 p.m. on weekdays. And Lucas County had evening hours and at least one Sunday. Cuyahoga County had evening and Sunday early voting hours. Summit County had one Sunday of early voting. We should not be surprised that we are here because all of the breadcrumbs that have been placed in the path have shown that we would end up here. And I want to remind you that from House Bill 194 to Doug Price's comments in, during the presidential election, to the current Secretary of State appealing all the way to the United States Supreme Court to take away the last few days of early voting, there should be no surprise that we are here. This was planned all along. And so I just want to walk you back down memory lane when Doug Price, the chairman of the Franklin County Republican Party and an elections board member said the following, I guess I really actually feel we shouldn't contort the voting process to accommodate the urban read African-American voter turnout machine. Columbus Dispatch, August 19th, 2012. How did we get here? Very deliberately. And just recently in a House committee, Representative Matt Huffman on February the 11th during the House State Government Oversight and Reform Committee said the following. 
And talking about a voter who thinks it's very important to cast a ballot, hypothetically, he said, but I'm only going to do it if someone will drive me there after church on a Sunday. That is a direct quote. Another direct quote. Really, is that the person we need to cater to when we're making public policies about elections? February 11th, 2014. How did we get here? Very deliberately. This is by no accident that the current Secretary of State has set these hours in such a way that it puts roadblocks and barriers up for people to be able to vote. And then as all of you should have before you, you have at least three members of boards of elections across this state who have voiced their opinion about what is going on in this directive. How did we get here? Very deliberately. But Janet M. Carson of the Geauga County Board of Elections chairwoman put it best when she said, and I quote, I'm concerned whenever we limit access or reduce opportunities to vote, voting is a core principle and responsibility that should be encouraged rather than discouraged. I believe that local boards of elections should set their hours for voting because they understand their local needs better than Big Brother in Columbus. One size does not fit all. As a Board of Elections member in a very red county, I can assure you this is not about politics. There are twice as many registered Republicans as Democrats in my county, yet I still think we should provide the broadest access to voting for every registered voter. I'm disappointed to read that the OAEO recommendations are being used to justify what has clearly become a political football. The task force recommendations were based on an assumption that there had to be uniform hours across Ohio. I disagree. How did we get here? Very, very deliberately. And the fact that Mr. Houston is hiding under the cloak of the OAEO makes no sense. It is his legislature, it is his majority that is doing everything in their power to suppress, regress, and oppress access to the ballot box, and he just sealed it with this directive. Uh, now I'm going to turn this over to 